Hey Hoopers, Michelle McCoy here with Autumn Flow and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do this fun little move I am calling the chest roll breaks pop up and this is what it looks like. Okay, so two prerequisites to this move, a nice solid chest roll and chest roll breaks. So we're not going to be covering those moves in very much detail in this video, but if you need help mastering those moves first, chest rolls are broken down in my beginner's online guide to hoop dance course and chest roll breaks are in my intermediate and advanced refresh your flow online hoop dance course. So check those out and then come back here if you haven't mastered those moves yet. So we're going to break it down now. So. First of all, you want to use a small, light hoop. I'm using my new sectional translucent 5 8 30 inch Poly Pro. I just got this from our awesome hoop smith a few days ago, so I'm breaking it in. And you want to make sure that you use a hoop that fits within the distance of the middle of your chest and your fingertips so that you can do that pop-up move. So. I always prefer PolyPro over HDPE, especially for pop-up moves like this because they're more responsive and you get that bounciness to them and the pop-up just comes a bit more easily. Okay, so you're gonna start with your hoop in whichever hand you would like to start with. I'm gonna start with the hoop in my left hand. I am left hand dominant and I hoop to the right. So if you are starting in your right hand, then just reverse everything. So grab your hoop in your first hand and I release the hoop into my chest roll in between my thumb and my fingers. All of the motion coming from my wrist, making sure my arms are in a nice perpendicular T-shape to create a nice level path for the hoop to roll across. So I'm releasing the hoop, aiming for it to go onto my forearm, the very gentle release rolling across my chest. And when you release the hoop, into the chest roll, you don't want to put too much momentum into it because you want to have enough time to respond to go into the chest roll breaks. So releasing it from my left hand, I'm going to break the hoop three times before I go in to the pop-up. So release one, two, three, and then after the third break, instead of breaking it back, I am grabbing the hoop, closing my fingers around it with my second hand and guiding it back to the center of my chest, making contact between the bottom of the hoop and the middle upper part of my chest. So again, release, one, two, three, grab back to center. And you want to try to keep the hoop on a nice vertical plane, your gaze up to the top of the hoop. So as soon as you bring the hoop to the middle of your chest, you're going to extend your first arm up to the top of the hoop, wrapping your fingertips around the very top of it. So you want to aim for your fingertips to be exactly across the hoop from each other. So like, not like that, not like that. You wanna aim for it to be across the largest part of the hoop's diameter. And once you do that, one, two, three, grab. Once you do that, you're gonna pull the hoop down to prepare to go into the pop-up while holding the hoop in place with your bottom hand. So you're not releasing it here yet. You wanna lean back slightly to create more of a level shelf for the hoop to pop off of. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is that, and the hoop's gonna pop down instead of up. So. Pull it back quite a bit, lean back, and then you can, right before you release it from the fingertips at the top of the hoop, release it here. So release, release. So it's a quick, bam, pop-up. And you can really play with how much momentum and height you put into your pop-up. The more height you put into it naturally, the harder it's gonna be to control its aim. So that's a good opportunity to get creative with ways to transition out of this move. So all together now into our chest roll, starting in my left hand, release, one, two, three breaks, back to my chest, 
fingertips at the top, pop. So you might want to just practice just getting into this position and popping it. You want to aim for the hoop to go directly up and down, directly up and down. So a few of my favorite ways to transition out of this move, it, you kind of have to follow the hoop's lead to see how it's falling back down. But one of my favorite ways is to grab it at the bottom of the hoop and bring it down onto my body. You could go into some breaks or a lift up or you could grab it, bring it down into a wedgie, which is kind of hard in the water. Um, but that's a fun combo that I use a lot. Another way to transition into this move is to do a full chest roll, bring it back the other way and then break it. And you can break it as many times as you want, but doing at least three I found gives you the most control and stability going into the pop-up. So another fun transition out of it is to grab it into the crease of the inside of your elbows and then fold it forward to go into a reverse escalator. So here's a little bit of a closer up view and I'm gonna break it down again real quick. So releasing it from my first hand, going into my first break with my second hand. And when I break the hoop, I am not closing my grip over it. I'm just quickly stopping the hoop and reversing its direction. So during the first break, I allow the hoop's momentum to carry it swinging down to the side of my shoulder, making contact in that sweet spot right there, sending it back the other way. So during that break, I'm aiming to bring my hand to the center of my chest, break, break, break as many times as you want. And when the hoop is in your second hand, you're gonna close your fingers around it, guide it back to the middle of your chest, gaze up, and guys, you want the hoop super, super high on your chest. It's like at the bottom of my neck here, leaning back, fingertips to the top, making contact between the bottom of my hoop and the upper part of the middle of my chest, but still keeping my hand here to hold it in place so it doesn't pop down. And then a quick release, release, pop. So again, release, break, 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 center, arm up, pop and you want to prepare to bring your popping arm up before you get to the middle of your chest so that it's a nice fluid motion. And that is the chest roll breaks pop-up move. And like I said, there are so many other fun ways to transition in and out of this. Transitions are just as important, if not more important, than the trick itself. So really experiment with that, get creative, have fun, and thank you for watching. Happy hooping.